Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching today's video. Um, in this video, I'm I'm going to talk about the packed BCD and unpacked BCD. So, packed and unpacked BCD. So actually, the difference is very significant. And you guys must be very easy to understand the packed BCD um, using four bits to represent one digit. And unpacked BCD using eight bits for represent one digit. So this example, um, if we want to use in BCD, packet or unpacked BCD to represent a number of decimal number like A. So, um, it's not, it's bad. so um, for packet BCD, it can be very easy. Um, zero one, zero one is for packed. And if we convert to hexadecimal, it's going to be five. It's the same. And um, unpacked. Um, we need to add four zeros in the first four bits. And then we add the number five, zero, one, zero, one. That's the second of four bits so if we convert to hexadecimal it can be zero five so that's it's very ob obvious that um this representation is very wasting the, the space um before i explain that let's um uh, let me have some more examples for packet and unpacked bcd if we have um, 74 in decimal. So if for packet BCD, it could be 0, 1, 1, 1 for 7, and 0, 1, 0, 0 for 4. And for hexadecimal is 7, 4. It's the same. And unpacked. Zero 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 one 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 for seven, therefore seven, and then another zero 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 zero, and then zero one zero zero. This for four. So the final result for hex decimal is zero seven zero four. So assume we um have six bits to represent a number to represent a number a number um in a common representation like we can have zero for fff in hexadecimal small and and the maximum number is 65,535. Well, if we use packet DGD, it's only 9,999 packed BCD. If we using the unpacked BCD, it's only 99 unpacked. Because uh, the four bits will never exceeding um, nine, so it will be wasting. There's no A B C D. It's only from one from zero to one. Okay, that's all for packet and unpacked B C D. Next, um, let me explain a little bit about the ASCII. Um, ASCII for num for decimal numbers. So zero 
in ASCII is represented by three zero in hex hexadecimal and one thirty one thirty one. So on so forth nine thirty nine. So assume we we have example like uh, 472 that's this decimal. And if we change convert it to uh, ASCII, it's gonna be three four represented for four and three seven represented for seven and three two represented for two that's in hexadecimal. Oh, it, it's quite a straightforward. So just remember um, how to represent the numbers and then you can do it. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully this is gonna be a little helpful for you guys.